Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, civilians of all ages, what's poppin'? I'm the mayor of this establishment, Townsy, bringing y'all my live reaction to chapter 925 of One Piece. You on this time, motherfucker? You, you on this time? Yeah, last chapter meant to be a live reaction ended up being a review because my dumb ass decided I wanted to do the whole live reaction without checking to see if my mic was muted. And it's not this time. We good. But chapter dropped about 20 minutes ago. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day. It's like 11 o'clock when I'm recording this. I know it's gonna be past Turkey Day when I edit. But hey, it's 11, I don't care, happy Turkey Day. But we gonna go ahead and hop straight on into it. I'm hype. Uh, on Reddit, the chapter had a lot of hype. I don't read spoilers or nothing like that, but it had a million and six upvotes. It had gold, so obviously the chapter's hype. I don't even know what could make the chapter hype right now. Like, was I other than like Luffy escape? Like what the hell could make the chapter hype? Like high key, I don't even know what could be going on. Let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Chapter 925, The Blank. So we got Perona, damn, ooh. We got Perona looking like a whole snack. The entire, all, all the snacks, she looked at God. Damn, girl. She got all her black cats with her. They making that jungle juice. That's what that shit look like. They making that jungle juice. Woo! That is a lot of vodka. Cover page request, Perona and a group of black cats making jungle juice with all of Mihawk's wine. I ain't know. Y'all mess with the wrong dude's wine. I right, see, we know Zoro, damn, hold up. Look at the bottom left. Look how much wine that dude got. Hey, that's a swordsman thing, you know what I mean? I told you though, they making that jungle juice. That motherfucker, that, that's a pitcher, boy. They didn't fill the Kool-Aid man full of fucking beer. That's crazy. What the fuck, we actually went to the Muggy Kingdom? Grand Lion, the ruins of the Muggy Kingdom. Yeah. So, Perona's, Master Moria is still alive? So, okay, so Perona, Perona's crying over a newspaper, shaking, cause Moria's alive, I guess. Gecko Moria's zombie invasion of what? Look at this, I'm so happy that Master Moria is still alive. So, so Perona flew over to Mihawk. Yeah, I saw it this morning. Why didn't you tell me then, you idiot? This information is important to me. Like I care. <laughs> Thriller Bark Pirates Ghost Princess Perona. Oh, to make Perona look extra fine as of late. Before, I didn't really like her design. I don't, you know what I mean? Her bangs was ugly as fuck. I, I, I know she still got bangs now. But they're less ugly as fuck, so. Do you know how many meals I prepared for you? I've cooked more meals than you have. <laughs> hey, my man's is cooking for it though. That's my, hey, gentlemen. Kuma sent you here. You know what I mean? I know you can't leave. I ain't taking you fucking nowhere. So you know what I mean? You might as well eat. I can't have a dead body on my hand. Go on here, girl. Eat you some. He real, he real, he real. The world's strongest swordsman. Warlord of the sea. Dracula Mihawk. Boy chilling. Got his tea. Got his mother. Oh, boy, my man's is chilling. Big chilling. He said, I'll let you live here. She said, I'm leaving. Good luck on your own. He said, stay safe. That's my dude, dog. Hey, stay safe. He didn't even say, he didn't say get out. He didn't say you can't come back. He just said, stay safe. That's my dude, B-Hawk, bro. Such kindness. You see, look at it. Don't suddenly start being nice to me. Thank you for everything. He said, what a noisy woman. Leaving now is probably for the best though. He, she said, huh? An interesting topic was brought up at the reverie. Ooh. Forgot about the reverie. I forgot about the reverie, dog. New world. Pirates Island Beehive. I forgot who's this. Oh, I didn't even know who's this is. This is Moria shit. Whoa. We're getting a Moria chapter? Why are we getting a Moria chapter? Wait. Hold on. What's up with this, bruh? Like, I get it. It makes sense why, you know what I mean, we would get Moria. Because Kaido fucked his shit up apparently at one point in time. Hey, we we we, we fucked this shit up at one time too. Enemy, enemy, my enemy is my friend. I'm pretty sure I said it in my last review, but enemy of my enemy is my friend. Don't always be working like that. But New World, Pirates Island, Beehive, Moria's yelling. And you hear me? Call over this. Call Teach over here this instant. Whoa! Since I read that wrong the first time, it didn't hit me. But call Teach over here this instant. Who are you? You're not just, hey, Blackbeard, bring your ass over here right now. You're not, you're not, you're not calling Blackbeard over here this instant. Filler Bark Pirates, Captain, former Warlord of the Sea, Gecko Moria. Bounty 320 million. Did we already know that? Did we already not? Nah, I don't think we would have known his bounty at first because uh, they had it froze. I don't think they showed us at first. I could be wrong, but I don't think they showed it to us at first. But he got somebody in his hand. 
Oh, it, oh, oh, oh. Is he on Blackbeard's island? It says, show yourself, Blackbeard. And they're like, zombies, ah. So this is... So this is what he, uh, uh, so this is what Mihawk was reading about in the paper, whatever zombie invasion it was. So first off, you already lost against Kaido once, so you're gonna go against another world, I mean, uh, uh, you're gonna go against another Yonko right now? Okay, my boy, okay. So the back shot of this random dude looked like the king dude that Blackbeard saved from Impel Down. How noisy, yeah. Master Pizarro, that's Gecko Moria, former warlord. Why'd you guys let him pass through then? <laughs> I'm dead. We forced his way through it and annihilated the port. Oh, he annihilated the port. Oh. And he's here to find Admiral Teach and that invisible man named Absalon who arrived on his island a few days ago. Absalon is there. Absalon, what are you doing, homie? Blackbeard Pirates, captain of the second ship, Avalo Pizarro, the corrupt king. I knew that was him. Oh, that guy. So, what the fuck? So, what was Absalon there for? What was Absalon there for? Maybe he was doing a secret covert mission. And Moria, I know a lot of theories have been uh, what's it called? Is that what's his name? I literally, I'm literally reading his name and forgot his name. Absalom saved uh, Moria from Doflamingo and them from killing Moria at uh, the in the Marine Fort since he was sent to assassinate him. And throw that stuff, Facebook. And Doflamingo ended up actually getting those orders from higher up. But we got a chance later know this is most likely a typo. In the Vivi card visual dictionary, Pizarro is listed as the captain of the fourth ship. Shiryu is already captain of the second ship as revealed in chapter 803. That makes sense. I would, in my mind, I would show like second ship. What the hell? Master Moria, I'm over here. Absalom, thank goodness you're alive. Is it, why he got hearts, hello? Oh, she has hearts. Sorry boss. This island is such a paradise. I forgot to make contact with you. That's crazy. I see. Then that means I've done a terrible thing to these people. The Black Bear Pirates are notorious ability hunters. Your power is one that many people, like Sanji, will want. <laughs> Remember how mad Sanji was? Damn, what happened to Moria? Oh, he, he got sliced on the side. Three of his zombies got cut up. Somebody cut the shit out of him. What the fuck? Shiryu? Oh, it is Shiryu! Uh, who is it? Oh my god. He said, yo, hunch was correct, Gecko Moria. I've obtained a... <laughs> what? Nigga, what? Shiryu the ring can go invisible, dog? No, what? Bro... Absalom is alive! How do you take devil fruit? Uh, big speculation what I saw of why, you know what I mean, Blackbeard put that cloak over him and Whitebeard, because he like ate his heart and he didn't want to see people eat his heart and some shit like that, but it couldn't have been that. Because, wait a minute, how do you take devil fruits, bro? When they wanted to take the Mara Mara no me, or when they wanted to take the gum gum fruit from Luffy, fucking what's his shit? Uh, 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 Champion Burgers had a fucking knife. A headman had a knife. What is it like? Like, how do you take those roots? Okay, Moria is fucking baffled. Moria is perplexed. I am perplexed. <laughs> Did you just turn invisible? It's Absalom's ability. And then Absalom does a weird laugh that ain't his. That's old girl with the big ass nose. Um, um, I forgot her name. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. Can she transform into people? Katarina Devon. Yeah, Crescent Moon Hunter. What the hell? How did she turn it? Do she got nine tails? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bro, is she a nine tail fox? Ari? Naruto? Nine tails off Pokemon? Lady Devon, all the females like, ooh! So, all right, so that's the female pirate. Damn, she got a thick ass neck, boy. She look like, <laughs> Oh, you know she old boy, why? <laughs> that nigga with the neck. Uh, she said, we couldn't just let him snoop around. She said, you bastard, what you do to Absalom? They fucked that nigga up. Shit, okay. So everything I was talking about Absalom being alive. Oh. Oh. Is Absalom dead? Is Absalom dead? If you're looking for him, I've got his corpse right here. Want to take it home with you? If I'm remembering correctly, you like corpses. Retcon everything I just fucking said about him being alive. 
and the heart eating thing and the ninth thing and the everything i just needed to go one more page oh my god oh shit whoa bruh blackbeard pirates could y'all chill can y'all chill zeh ha 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 so you see uh i, I guess that's a, a snail coming out the wall like a communicator like a radio whatever gecko moria and you see a bunch of wives and kiyas motherfucking screaming and shit the admiral summoned an earthquake Oh, 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 uh, mm, okay, okay. So fucking Blackbeard did an earthquake wherever he is right now. Don't disturb the order of this pirate island. Blackbeard, you bastard, show yourself. Nah, I'm busy right now. This island's a pirate's paradise. You're supposed to have a good time here. Do you like pirates, Moria? If you do, come sail under my flag. Did you see the news this morning? It's quite entertaining on the fourth day of the reverie. What happened <laughs> at the reverie? What happened? In order to rescue Kuma, the commanders of the Revolutionary Army finally clashed with the Marine Admirals Ryoku, Ryokogu, whatever the fuck, and Fujitora. Zay high motherfucking high. He got females on his legs, boy. He got that beard going on. My new Blackbeard is really Blackbeard right now. Hey, hey. I shouldn't be this geek, but I am this geek. That's my dude. Marshall D. Motherfucking Teach Bounty 2,247,600,000. God damn. Double and then some of Luffy's. Ba no, I'm lying. I am lying. It's not even double. Ain't, ain't Luffy's Bounty 50, uh, uh, uh. One billion five hundred thousand uh, five hundred million. Yeah, never mind. I'm lying. Ignore I said that, but his bounty thick as shit. It's the biggest bounty we've seen to all motherfucking One Piece, and that actually makes sense since Blackbeard. I think Blackbeard will be a final enemy. Yeah, Emu is a thing. He exists. He don't want to be the Pirate King. What is this fucking story about? Finding One Piece, being the Pirate King. I think Blackbeard is gonna be the final enemy. On the other side of things, Starhead is a hot topic in Wano Country, where Kaido resides. That's still Blackbeard talking. A bunch of hot-blooded brats are gathering on that island. With the enraged Emperor Big Mom in hot pursuit, what do you think will happen? It's already started. The bloodbath between the powerful and the fight for the thrones. <laughs> I love this man's laugh. Wild on Country. Act 2. Let's get it. Open up them curtains. What's up, homegirl with the mask? Uh, Kuni Mitsu off Tekken. The first thing you see is, hi. Wild on Country. Curry. Mount Atemayama. Atamayama, Atamayama. Let me say that. Atamayama. Atamayama. And then so we see Inarashi going in on whoever. Shooting Maru going in in general. Inarashi shooting Maru. Hello, what's going on? So it's a sword fight between Inarashi shooting Maru. Everybody's watching on each side. They huffing and puffing. That looked like a beanstalk in the background. This is a dope ass panel. This is a clean panel. Shooting Maru big as fuck. God damn. I couldn't tell. You can't really tell how big he is because Jack is huge compared to everybody in general. But, like, Shooting Maru is the same size as Inarashi. Inarashi big as fuck. You can see everybody else's silhouettes. They short as hell. And then Kenimon's looking down, depressed. Let's stop here. Inarashi, Ashura. So they both look tired. What was going on? Because, like... Kenimon don't look happy. This don't look like a friendly sparring match. None of these people look happy to have this friendly sparring match. Whatever this is, is happening. I, I haven't read anything, but all I see is Chopper chilling next to my homegirl, old motherfucking Tama. I'm happy. Hey, my homegirl is alive. I don't care. Fuck Osiru. Fuck fucking Okiku. My homegirl, Otama, living. We out here living. Ain't no little girls dying today. I ain't got no kids, but I love my nieces, man. And then we got old boy with the long nose bound. Thank you very much. We are in your debt. She said, I'm glad it's only a shallow wound. I was really scared and lost consciousness instantly, so I don't really remember what happened. I vaguely remember Umami-chan fighting desperately afterwards, though, to think an enemy like that will become your faithful servant. What an amazing ability you possess. I'm more worried about big bro Luffy than my injuries right now. Luffy's recovery speed is like that of a monster's, and his spirit won't be broken either. He'll be fine. Rizo said that he'll assist with the prison break mission. Ah, oh, so there's a prison break mission? So there's a prison break mission? Hold up, y'all ain't, ain't just gonna sneak that in. There's a prison break mission, bro. There's a prison break mission. 
So when they hit the prison break mission, I'm gonna need y'all to grab Kid, that nigga who spit fish hard, because he, I need that nigga to be spitting fish all art, all art. Get that nigga iron hockey encoded motherfucking fish bone, all right? Bet. Since he said so himself, let's just leave it to him. And then so that's there's also that doctor dude from Zo. So he know what I mean he chilling too. I wonder if he can fight. I'm trying to see his motherfucking suit long. Mount Ate Niyama. I've misjudged you, Ashra. Who said that? Oh, uh, oh Kiku. Kiku. Be grateful that I'm leaving without taking in your belongings. Did you forget our relationship has been like this since the beginning? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ashra? You can't help? Be grateful that I'm leaving without taking any of your belongings. Who are you gonna get by to take any of their belongings in this group, bruh? Oh my god, like there is nobody belongings in this group that you were taking at all. Who you had to get through a lot of people to take anybody's shit up in this motherfucker. What? I admired a man named Odin. So I, a samurai, risked my life for him. However, I don't remember swearing to serve the Kozuki family. He was even a match for Master Inarashi? Isn't that right, Momonosuke? So, him and Momonosuke, it's not like him and Momonosuke don't like each other, maybe, possibly, I don't know. No, you should be the one to remember, the type of person that I am. I'll definitely make you our ally. I commend you if you manage to do that. Did you think that everyone would be happy that the Kazuki family samurai have returned? You abandoned this country for 20 years. The blank that you left behind will never be filled. That's the blank. That's the child. I, that makes sense. Who is... Who... 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 Who the fuck? Who? Wano Country Onigashima. Hey, Jack. The offerings from Curry have been pretty low recently. With Doflamingo gone, you do know where to go for our next trade deal, don't you? They're mad at Jack again. Jack is being scolded? <laughs> Y'all can't just scold Jack. What the fuck? Who scolds Jack? Who scolds Jack? <laughs> Jack! Jack! What? They're mad at Jack again? Again? Alright, hold up. <laughs> hold on, buddy. Who are these people? Who are these swole men? All of these niggas need to calm down. He wearing all black. He look like Fetish the Man. <laughs> we already have one burdensome person here. And it's that idiot queen. Who the fuck is queen? Oh. Right next to the nigga. That's right. We only need one, and it's that scumbag king. Uh, their names are queen and king. They're both males. Okay. Do you understand? Jack the drag, drown. Down. Drag down. Oh, 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 oh. That took me way too long to get. Damn, Jack the drag down. That's fucked up. Roger, you gonna take this disrespect? <laughs> but uh, Jack the drag down. He can't be Jack the drought. So obviously he's the third strongest. What the fuck? Why is he the third strongest? That's a, why. He's the third strongest, bro. Jack, then queen, then king. So those are the two that we looking at names. King the wildfire, queen the plague. Whoa. Those names is crazy. The wildfire. This dude's head's on fire. So like that low key kind of makes it, you know what I mean? And then queen the plague. You know what I mean? She's just... He, she just looks weird, bro. It's like a, like a, like a Mexican fucking trans luchador. I fucks with it, you know what I mean? You, know what I mean? you do your thing, do your things. 2018, you know what I mean? Are they called all stars? All stars? You know what I mean? I, I, I grew up with the name Calamity. When I say grew up, I mean I've known for the last maybe three years, maybe. Calamity. Sorry, big brothers is what Jack said. Fuck. You know better, Queen. How long does it take you for you to break the spirits of a few cheeky brats? You're incompetent. Shut your trap, you perverted bastard. What'd you say? I knew that nigga was a pervert. That nigga's wearing all fucking leather. That gross ass shit. What the fuck? <clears throat> Ew. But this final island looking kind of crazy. Look at that shit. That looked like King K. Rool Island. And I'm, I'm still trying to find out what was going on with Ashra Doji and them. Damn, this is... God damn, this is a good ass chapter, man. This is a good ass fucking chapter, bro. All information, action... Bro, it's a good ass chapter. Holy shit, Moria fucking, we got all the information. Wait a minute, what happened at the end of that battle? They fought at the fucking reverie? You know, you know that's why they wasn't gonna show us the reverie in the first place. You know that's why. But they fought, everybody fought, what went on, man? Y'all can't just leave us in the dust, bruh. Obviously y'all can, cause y'all is. But bruh, but, oh my 
God. This was a good ass chapter. I'm giving it a five. I don't give a fuck. I wanna know what Mihawk meant. Why is why is his island not gonna be safe no more? Oh, I'm looking back at it. And that ain't gonna even got nothing to do with the fight. What Mihawk said. He said an interesting topic was brought up at the reverie, so whatever whatever good reason for Perona leaving his island, it ain't got shit to do with that. You know what I mean? That fight that happened. So not only did that fight happen, some other interesting things happened at the reverie too. We knew that, but like, bruh. Bruh, give me information, man. I need my info. I need my knowledge. But this chapter has been fire, bro. Like, we got we got shit that I didn't want to see that I see. Motherfucking shit of the rain? Invisible? That's not fair. Absalom is dead. Moria's probably about to die. That He's on that island right now. They could probably take his devil fruit. Oh, man. I think Moria's about to die. That just went came in my head right now. I think Mori's about to die. Give that, and somebody, oh, uh, man, can you imagine somebody competent with that power? I'm not saying Mori is not competent, but there are definitely more competent people than Mori. Bruh, and, oh my god, Katarina Devon? What is her power? She can transform into people? That's broken! Why can she transform into people? That's broken! I thought that man was really alive for a minute now. That was gonna change a whole bunch of theories that a bunch of people had. I'm trying to figure out why did, why did, why did Moria go there in the first place? He didn't go there to get Absalom, did he? Why did he go there in the first place? Why? Why? I'm, why? Why did he go there? Why? That doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm reading back through the chapter to try to see, like, if anything, why? Why did he come? Why do you just want to fucking... Blackbeard, show yourself, you bastard. That's all I'm seeing. What did you think was going to happen? Why did you think you were going to win that? Maybe this is set up to Moria joining the Blackbeard Pirates, bro. Now, I'm, I'm, after I forgot that he offered him to join. Maybe that's set up for that or something like that. You know what I mean? Absalom dead. Perona just left to find... Well, Perona's gonna find Moria no matter what. So wherever he goes, she go. That's what that's what it's kind of sounding like. But maybe both of them joins the Blackbeard Pirates? That'd be better. I, I personally, I wouldn't be mad, you know what I mean, him joining the Blackbeard Pirates rather than them murdering a the nigga, taking his fruit, and giving it to somebody else and probably doing the same thing with per Perona. They both probably just join. And then Act 2 of Wano. That started off hot too. Why is Ashura fighting in Arashi? I need answers. This is, I need answers the chapter. Cop tease the chapter. Ain't even mad the chapter. Like, bruh, I, uh, want Oda. And it didn't say it was gonna be no break either. Oda, thank you so much. You know what I mean? I, I know you've been getting your rest. I know you've been doing your thing, your research. But you're pumping out way too, way too many facts, way too much information, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna need you to keep on that roll, bro. You've been on, you've been doing a good job, Oda. You've been doing a good job, and I, and I need you to keep it up for a few more weeks in a row before you go on another break, my dude. But like I said, it was a five out of five chapter. It's just questions to chapter, and I'm not even mad. But as far as this live reaction goes, that's pretty much all I got for y'all this time around. So like I always say, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Pull up to the Discord below, and y'all have a good one.